In this lesson I will use Delphi to create a file and add the first data to the file and then subsequently read from the file and if you want to add more data to the file. In order to show this clearly I have used three buttons. This first button will create the file for the first time, empty its contents and then allow the user to input data for the first time. The second button will display whatever data there is in the file and the third button will allow the user to add more lines of data to this text file. The goal of the program is to read in the names of flowers and their prices as integer values. Let's focus on the first button. Before we click on this and you see what I've done, think about what we want to do here. In this button, we want to create a file and write data for the first time. Let's have a look. I've created one variable in this button and it's a variable I need for a message dialog position. Other than this one button selected variable, I have other global variables because I'm going to use them in all three buttons. The TF for my text file, it's my file access variable, one line and flower as strings and the price of the flower as an integer. Let's display the programming area somewhat larger. Great. So right at the beginning of this button I put a message dialog box which warns the user that if he continues everything that exists in this file already will be wiped out. So button selected, that variable over there, equals message dialog pause. If this file has stuff in it already then you will lose it if you continue. And that is the position of this message dialog box. If button selected equals MR cancel then exit. We do not want to continue if the user realizes he made a mistake. Other than that, our program continues normally. Assign file tf to prices.txt and rewrite it. I don't have to check whether it exists. That's why I put this line in comments so that it is not executed. Rewrite the file will do a few things. If the file does not exist yet, then the rewrite statement will create a new file. Once the file is opened for writing, the file pointer will be placed at the beginning of the file. A copy of the empty file is made on disk. If, however, the file does exist, then the contents of this file is deleted. And that's why we warn the user over here. If the file does exist, the contents is deleted, and the file pointer is once again placed at the beginning of the file, and the file is ready for receiving data. So my next line here is flower equals input box price equals string to enter the same input box. One line is now combined as flower plus the hash plus into string price and then we write one line to my file and I close the file. Remember in this specific program I have three buttons and I make them act independently. So I open and close the file in each of these three buttons. Then the second button, button display. This button should merely display whatever's in the file. Once again I assign the file, now I need to check if it doesn't exist, then tell the user it doesn't exist. Don't create it, but tell the user that it doesn't exist and then the user can go back to the first button to create the file. If it does exist, then we reset the file. Reset is very different from rewrite. Reset puts the file pointer at the beginning of the file so that the file can be read. Rewrite firstly deletes the file and then puts the file at the beginning of the file. So we know that our file has information in it, so we use reset so that we can read from the beginning. And then we loop from the top to the bottom, reading one line at a time and displaying it using the hash nine characters. And once again, I close my file at the end. And the last button, this is the button append. I want to add values to the file. Assign file, if it doesn't exist, then show that it doesn't exist and exit. Okay, then you must go back to the first button. If it does exist, then we use append. Append opens the file for writing and puts the file pointer at the end of the file so that if you write something now, it will be added at the end of the file. This code is the same as the first button and we close the file at the end. Let's see what it looks like when we run this program. Create and store data. Let's click on it. It warns us if there is stuff in it, then you will lose it. Okay, so we are creating it. We are creating our file. Let's make it daisy and let's make the price 10. 
So now I've created the file for the first time. If I click on the button again, it will warn us we will lose whatever's in there. So click on Cancel. Display the data in the file and we have Daisy and 10. And now let's add a few items to the file. Flower name Rose and price is going to be 20 Rand. And add some more to the file. Petunia and 4 Rand. And let's display the data in the file. There are two daisies in my rich edit now because I forgot to delete it from the rich edit. It's still in the file only once, but it appears on the rich edit twice. So we can change the code to clear the rich edit here. Let's do that quickly. Display right at the beginning. I must say red out dot clear. Run my program and display the data. And I only have one daisy and I can display it again. Good. I hope this helps you in writing your own text files.